Hey guys, sorry. I have no idea when my thing shut off, so I just kind of started back where, uh, where I took my quick break, so... I'm just going to redo this part because it's really quick. And uh, when I looked over to make sure everything was still in place, it was off. So I was like, oh, <laughs> I might have done it on accident. I don't know. There. Come on. There we go. So I am really sorry about that. Like I had no intention of shutting it off. I just went to go get a quick snack, you know. <laughs> oh, shit. done with this game and I think I will start Mass Effect 2 because why the hell not? Alright, uh, of course I am. I'll probably do Mass Effect 3 as well. Though Mass Effect 3 is going to be a little more interesting because I am way so OCD about my galactic readiness. Oh. I tried playing through once without playing the multiplayer just, just so I could play through it. But I was like, I can't do this! I had to start playing the multiplayer. There! The conduit! It's incredible! We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay. And these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Just so we know, um, this part you have to just race right through. I don't know if this is where my thing shut down or not, but I'm just saying it again. Race right through because you are on a timer. You do not have time to stop for anything.
ever been. Not sure at this point. save you you don't understand Shepard there is a place for organics in the new order the Reapers need men and women of action people like us sovereign recognizes your value you've impressed it surrender to the Reapers and you will be spared join us and we can find a place for you I'd rather die than live like that then you will die and your companions. Everyone you know and love. Everyone you've ever met. Don't you understand? You will all die. The Reapers can't be stopped. Not by the Protheans. Not by you. The cycle always continues. The Reapers don't use organics. They devour and discard them. As soon as the conquest is over, you'll be cast aside. I had no choice. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. Surrender or death. There are no other options. You could have resisted. You could have fought. Instead, you surrendered. You quit. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... For... <laughs> the implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It's too late for me. There's still one way to stop this. If you've got the guts. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick! Open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. You were expecting someone else? We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Andura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You'd sacrifice human lives to save the Council? What have they ever done for your kind? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. That's why you can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope the Council appreciates this. Oh, they don't, trust me. <laughs> Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Pick 
picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess. dead. He's dead.
Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice. Excuse me. And we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. By defeating Sovereign, you have saved billions of lives. You have the courage of your convictions and a ruthless determination to succeed. Through your actions, you have become a symbol of everything humanity represents. Your species has an indomitable will, a fierce, savage spirit that will not bend or yield. We used to believe this made humans stubborn, even dangerous. But now we understand that these traits are what make you strong. There are dark times ahead. The Council needs humanity and its strength. As the Alliance Ambassador, I accept your offer. Humanity will join its strength to yours. We will take our seat on the Council. We will need a list of potential candidates. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. I'd rather have the Captain on the Council than any politician I know. <laughs> the shadow of war darkens our future. Selecting someone with military experience is a wise choice. I'm honored, Counselor. As humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. The battle with Sovereign destroyed our illusions of peace and security. Now the galaxy will look to us, the Council, to defend them. Sovereign alone nearly wiped you out. You won't stand a chance if the whole Reaper fleet shows up. Not unless I find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. We're on the verge of a war with an enemy unlike any the galaxy has ever known. A war for the very survival of all life as we know it. Humanity is ready to do its part. We will not back down. We will not surrender. We will lead you into battle against the Reapers and we will drive them back into dark space. The end. I'll let the credits roll because I like the song. <laughs>
And there you go, that is Mass Effect 1. Um, Sabrina, I hope you enjoyed it, because I mostly did this for you. Not to mention everyone else who watched, and I appreciate your guys' um, viewership. <laughs> I will indeed move on to Max Effect 2 here pretty short. I'm going to start more uploads for what I've just played today. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Thanks for watching.